Hello everyone, it's a whole new week and I have new tarot cards for you. Can you believe it's the last week of April? What? Anyway, <laughs> I have new cards for you. Morgan drew our cards for us, my primary guide. Tonight I'm using my Crystal Visions Tarot because I don't use those often enough for you guys. So anyway, just want to mix it up. And I also had her draw one Oracle card from the Mystical Wisdom deck, which has gorgeous art. So let's see what we got. First up, nice, the Three of Cups. So cups is the element of water. This represents our emotions. You think of water always moving and changing, just like our emotions are. And the three is always about celebrating your friendship. Friendship is really like the one true love because uh, romantic love can come and go sometimes, but friendship is always there for you. So definitely celebrate your friendships. Reach out to friends if you haven't heard from them in a while. Check in, see how they're doing. Let them know that you are so glad that they are part of your life, all right? All right, that's a good way to start off the week. On the page of swords. So swords is the element of air. It represents our thoughts. And if you think about air, you can't you can't reach out and touch it, and yet you need it to live, right? So <laughs> your thoughts are like that. They are so real in our heads and they are not often out in the world. But the page of swords is young you. What did you like to think about when you were 10? Try and put that into your week this week. And I got to think that this maybe goes with this three of cups also. Who did you used to hang out with? Who did you used to make up big plans with? Reach out to them. It might have been a while. See how they're doing, right? But this week, definitely tap into that inner child for good ideas. All right. And finally, oh my gosh, you guys, what? I don't know if this has ever happened on our weekly reading, but we got the Page of Cups and the Page of Swords. So all of us need to play more this week. Have some fun, all right? The Page of Cups is, again, your emotions. So what did you love when you were 10? What did, you know, kid you? What did you love? For me, it was unicorns all the time. My first book I ever wrote, The Wonders of Unicorn Creek. Um, <laughs> so for me, this week, I'll be using my unicorn deck. I'll be trying hard to lighten things up because obviously, too serious this week. So try really hard to tap into your inner child. It's going to lift your vibration instantly. Every time you honor your inner child, it is like pushing the happy button and your vibration rises right away. All right. And you know what? Friendship does that too. So maybe there are a lot of us out there this week who maybe are struggling. Um, maybe things are hard right now. It's hard to find a smile. And the universe is really telling us this week, if you tap into your inner child and your friends, you're going to be able to bounce back. You're going to raise your vibration. It's going to be okay. All right. And from the mystical wisdom deck, Ah, this kind of goes with these page cards. So this one is originality. This is March to the beat of your own drum, right? Isn't this art gorgeous? Oh my gosh, such a beautiful deck. But this is a reminder that we are all different. We're all unique. Don't try to be like someone else. Be like the best version of you this week, all right? And again, this really does tap into the... Um, I can pick them up, the two page cards of young you. You know, when you, before the world told you that your dreams weren't realistic, right? Get back to that this week and it will lift your vibration and miracles will creep in, I promise. Gosh, it's gonna be a fun week, right? All these cards are begging us to have fun. So this week, carve out a little bit of time. And it's funny because I'm seeing this and I'm like, oh, but I have to finish this book. Um, <laughs> I'm at the end of Wolf's Woman and it's like, oh, I gotta finish. But I also need to have a little bit of fun. Obviously, the universe being real loud today. So <laughs> to wrap up, Three of Cups, celebrate those friendships. Even if your friends don't live close by, send a text, send an email, reach out through Facebook, you know, however you can connect and check in, see how everybody's doing. Have some happy memories together, um, you know, laugh a little. And the, pa oh wait, 
I got them out of order. The Page of Swords. So think about what young you used to like to think about, the plans that young you made, and see if you can work those into your real life this week. I promise it will raise your spirits and you're gonna feel much more excited about the future. And finally, the Page of Cups. So things that you loved when you were 10, those things need to work their way into your life this week. I promise it will raise your vibration and you will be so glad that you did it. And again, another nudge from the universe, originality this week. March to your own drum, not of other people, all right? It will bring, it will attract those, it will attract those miracles. It really will. <laughs> okay, I hope that you guys have a tremendous week, final week of April. Be sure down below there is my coffee link if you would like to give me a tip. Oh my gosh, keeps me in Starbucks and makes my, totally makes my day. Um, <laughs> so that link is down there. If you ever need a private 30 minute reading, I do them over Zoom so we can do a reading no matter where you are in the world. And I would love to read for you. So that link is down there so you can get on my schedule. Also down there is a link to the metaphysical meetup group on Facebook where we talk all things metaphysical. Last week we were talking about meditation. It was great. So join us there. That's also where our next uh, four day manifesting challenge will be coming in May. So um, be sure to check out that group. Also down there is my Patreon link. And in my Patreon, my patrons are just about to get this quarter's book box. I ordered books. I'm super excited. Um, so if you would like to get involved with the Patreon, you get free books, you get all kinds of goodies, and you get free short stories every month that you get to choose. So <laughs> check out that link down at the bottom. All right, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next week. You're going to have a great week. Remember to have fun. Okay, bye.